I'm your host, Angelo Demetrius, and you are watching America's number one professional wrestling rant show. Oh boy, what a week in professional wrestling for the professional wrestling fan. Listen to this. Great things and bad things happening in professional wrestling. And we're going to talk about them all right here on WrestleRant HD. Because it's what we do. So go tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Oh, somebody. Call your mama and your daddy. Tell them. WrestleRant is on. Now. Sheamus has won the 2012 Royal Rumble. Nobody could have saw that coming, not even me. However, I'm glad. Because if anybody were to win the Royal Rumble, Sheamus is actually one of the people that I am proud of to win the Royal Rumble. Sheamus, for some reason, was mid-carded. Don't know why. Don't know why he was kept there for so long. Maybe for training reasons. But I do know this. Sheamus has got his act back together and is back at the top of the professional wrestling card. No longer stuck in mid-card limbo, limbo is the great white Sheamus. Some other people I would have liked to see in the Royal, win the Royal Rumble. Cody Rhodes, Chris Jericho, and what the heck? Let Hacksaw Jim Duggan win it again. Not like he'd ever win the title, right? Anyway, I'm glad Sheamus won the 2012 Royal Rumble. Now we can do something with Sheamus besides fast forward by him. He's interesting again, folks. Yay! Good job, WWE, backing up one of your top superstars, Sheamus. All right, I got a bone to pick with WWE. Not like I don't every week. So, sit down, grab a coffee, whatever it is you do, WWE executive writers, because I am about to tear a new one. You have got to be out of your mind jobbing great talent to Brodus Clay. Okay, Kurt Hawkins isn't exactly breakthrough talent, but... Tyler Rex? Are you kidding? Formerly Tyler Black of Ring of Honor? One of the greatest pieces of talent you have on your roster? And you're going to job him to Brodus Clay? Shouldn't Brodus Clay be jobbing to Tyler Rex? I mean, after all, who has lost to a crossbody splash off the ropes since Ricky the Dragon Steamboat? Be serious, WWE. Tyler Rex is major talent. And I take him a lot more serious than I do the Funkasaurus Brodus Clay. I'm not impressed with Brodus Clay. No matter how much you try to shove Brodus down our throats, I don't believe the professional wrestling fans are impressed with him either. You want to show me something impressive? Take Tyler Rex out of the cage that you put him in and let him be the beast that he was born to be in professional wrestling. Okay, here we go again. This is why this show was created. This is why this show exists. WWE, you have directly, undeniably lost your mind. You inducted everybody into the Hall of Fame except those who actually deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. Drew Carey? Pete Rose? Mike Tyson? I mean, at the risk of never being able to chew food again, Mike Tyson no more deserves to be in the Hall of Fame than, let's say, I don't know, a referee. Listen, if I show up one time and stand in the middle of your ring, are you going to put me in the Hall of Fame because I get RKO'd by Randy Orton? Or maybe because, I don't know, 
Wade Barrett gives me a wasteland or Daniel Bryan kicks me in the chops? I don't think so. And I don't expect people like Mike Tyson or Drew Carey to be put in the place of others who work so hard and who truly, honestly deserve it. Now listen folks, I was going to dedicate one entire show to this, but I'm going to let it all go right now. People that deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? Sid Vicious, a.k.a. Sid Justice. How about the Ultimate Warrior? Oh, oh, for kicks and giggles, WWE. How about a man who is very dear to all professional wrestling fans that we lost just last year? The Macho Man, Randy Savage. His brother, if he doesn't mind, should be at the WWE Hall of Fame ceremony this year, standing behind that podium, accepting honors for his brother and his family. Lenny Poppo and Randy Poppo were one of the greatest tag teams, the Flying Poppos, before they separated and joined the WWE. Now, not many of you wrestling fans may know that, but Mr. Wrestle Rand here is on his job and I do my homework. Not only that, but I grew up watching a lot of these great matches. But let me say this. WWE, you could do a lot better than inducting people like Mike Tyson or Drew Carey or Pete Rose into your Hall of Fame. Get serious, WWE. Get serious. We want real professional wrestlers in the Hall of Fame. Fans, you're watching America's number one professional wrestling rant show. The place for information and entertainment. You don't believe it? Stay glued to your tube. This is WrestleRant. And now it's time for... Mad Wrestling Theater! Too long! I'm tired of people in the back calling me tiny! And another thing! Somebody keeps stealing my piece of chicken! Now what are you gonna do about that, Daddy? chicken and I like apple dumplings somebody keeps stealing them well uh, Mark I'm sorry I, I like to help you but you know uh, you know I, I don't know what else to do for you I mean I, I need to know what to do I just I like my chicken and my apple dumpling Please, help me, Teddy. Help me. Please help me. Now, if you can't help me, I might have to get violent with you. I might have to get just a little bit violent with you, Teddy. If you know what I mean. Well, that's it. Here's what I can do. I'm about to hurt you in front of all these people. Let me ask you something. Did your voice just change? You know what? I'm tired of this, fat boy. Now, go back there, eat your chicken and your dumplings before I had to break something serious off up in your behind. You did? Yeah. Yeah, I said it. What you gonna do, fat man? Yeah! Relax your mind, let the cost of flame Get down to the sound of the beer But you should keep quiet while the MC rap And if you're tired, then go take a nap Stay awake while the show I take Because right now Welcome! To Wrestle Rant HD, America's number one professional wrestling rant show. Why? Because you made it that way. You are back to the place where we're going to tell you what you want to hear. 
Not what they want you to hear. Come on, get real. This is WrestleRant. Now, let's talk about the feud between John Cena and the Big Red Machine, Kane. I just feel comfortable calling this Kane the Big Red Machine more than I did the Kane that had no mask. This is the Kane that we loved so much. This is the Kane that we love to hate and at times love to love so much. This is the Kane that was on the weakest link getting all the questions right and making all the other wrestlers look like Neanderthals. Well, <clears throat> since this Kane is back, John Cena has done a 180 degree turn, but not completely. Don't get your hopes up just yet, but do keep them. Because John Cena, week by week, is being turned into something that he used to be. An interesting person to watch. Not this lovable, rise above hate kind of character but a character that is aggressive, angry, ticked off all the time. I like that John Cena. And maybe Kane's character will bring that out in Cena's character. Now, I don't pretend to know what WWE creative is up to all of the time, but most of the time, I can hit it right on the money. And sometimes, if creative is watching my show, and I know you are. They might just pick up a few ideas from WrestleRant HD. Heck, even you, the fan, think they don't write, think they don't look at what you write when you write in that little box at WWE.com. Think again, because they take a census of a fan all the time, outside of the ring, on the internet, everywhere. And that's another reason why WrestleRant HD exists. To make sure professional wrestling fans like us get exactly what we want to see. So this feud between Kane and John Cena is awesome. It's hot. It's great. And you want to keep watching more and more and more. Now, I happen to believe that the match between John Cena and Kane at the Royal Rumble should have been a false count anywhere match. But WWE wants to milk this thing. Hey, I'm perfectly okay with that. WWE, this is one time I'll allow it. Who's excited about The Undertaker being back? Who's excited about The Undertaker being at WrestleMania? Who's excited about Undertaker and Triple H? Not me. Not a third time. Listen, if you can't get the job done twice, retire like Shawn Michaels did, or stay back there behind the scenes with your wife and write the show instead of be in it. Hey man, there's no shame in that. Nobody's saying it's wrong for you to put on a suit, sit behind a desk, and be an administrator. But it is wrong to try to give us something that's been rehashed twice over a third time. We don't want that anymore. We've already seen it. There's a rule in professional wrestling. You remember professional wrestling, right, Triple H? Well, there's a rule, and that rule is this. If it's already been seen, if it's already been done, avoid it. Do something different that people haven't seen before. And if you're going to do the same thing, do it different than you did it the first time. Listen, I don't think you're going to do this any different than it was done the first time. You're going to get hurt. He's going to get hurt. That's what happened. You two put on a heck of a show last year. I can't deny that. I thought it was the greatest thing that I'd ever seen at a WrestleMania in a long time. But this year, it's time for a new body to be put in The Undertaker's bag. Triple H, do not do this again. It's a huge mistake. And I think this match will be a reason, if you do decide to do this, why a lot of people are going to set their DVRs for record just so they can fast forward right past that match. Undertaker, I know 
is going to be a spectacle at WrestleMania. But let someone else share the spectacle with the dead man. Welcome back, Undertaker. What is going on with the Intercontinental title? Since Cody Rhodes has brought it back up to a lovable, likable status, something has happened. There haven't been any Intercontinental title matches. No Intercontinental title promos. Instead, the Intercontinental Champion is vying for the Heavyweight Championship of the World. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. I like that idea. But that doesn't mean that the Intercontinental Champ doesn't have a story. That belt needs a story behind it. It's not just a decorative piece to wear around your waist. It has history behind it, especially the one Cody Rhodes is wearing. It has prestige. We need to see a story between Cody Rhodes and someone else for that Intercontinental title. We've got how long until WrestleMania? Come on, WWE. Check out the juice and see what shakes loose. Get back in that locker room. I'm going to throw a name to you. Tyler Rex. Anyway, the Intercontinental title needs a story. All right, we get it, Daniel Bryan. You don't eat meat, but I do. Man, do I eat meat. All kinds of meat. Fried meat, baked meat, cut up meat, meat between sandwiches. Who's with me? Me. Go me. Let me tell you something. Daniel Bryan, there is nothing wrong with a good old fat, grease dripping, just stank back, gelatin, cut the fat off the side. Please don't trim that fat steak. Try one. You might grow chest hair. I love meat. That's all this segment's about, folks. It's just about meat. There's no wrestling involved here. The vegan thing with Daniel Bryan is great. I think it's a great edge to his heel character, and I like it. I like what WWE has done with the Daniel Bryan character, especially that they're giving a great wrestler, which he is, like Daniel Bryan, a chance. He was great in the independents. He, he knows his craft. He knows his choreography. And he knows how to use that microphone. And he shows it. Yes, he has developed since he started there. But Daniel Bryan is a well-rounded professional in the business. Good luck, Daniel, and you're doing a good job. I like your whole stick. Okay. I'm not sure I get this whole thing with Natalia, all right? I mean, for some reason, WWE has resorted to bodily humor. Now, it is funny. I'll admit that. But, come on. How far can bodily humor really go? I mean, it can only go so far. Pardon me, folks. It can only go so far. If bodily humor is going to be WWE's whole thing, then I need you to understand this. Bodily humor in different types of stories can only go so far. So WWE, watch what you're doing with your bodily... Pardon me. Uh, uh, excuse me? Anyway, I was saying that Um, I guess that's going to be off for WrestleRant HD. Um, I'm your host, Angela Demetrius. Oh my gosh! Oh, I'll see you next week. This is, oh, oh, this has been WrestleRant.